Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be the last Will I Buy It for the entire year. It is very exciting. I cannot believe that I just started making the series this year because I have already done so many of these videos. And of course, uh, thanks to Samantha March for actually creating this series and inspiring me to do my own. But uh, yeah, this is the last Will I Buy It. I feel a little bit sentimental, honestly, but uh, there's no time for that because we have a lot of products to talk about. Actually, no, that's a lie. This video is going to be a little bit shorter. Well, might not be because I might ramble a lot, but this video is going to be a little bit shorter because there's not a lot of makeup that's being released. Um, I have like a few products in here that I cannot wait to get my teeth into, but um, brands are taking a break because it is like close to the end of the year. And of course, like everyone deserves a break. So like, obviously this is not gonna be a very long video compared to some of my other videos of this uh, series, but uh, let's just get into it because like there is still quite a bit to talk about. So first off, I want to talk about these neon pigments from Blush Tribe that are launching January 15th. I'm so excited about these launch. These look absolutely beautiful. Something that is really standing out to me is like that highlighter yellow color. I would love to see what people think of these pigments. I personally think that they're going to be amazing. I've tried one thing from Blush Tribe so far, I do admit, but um, I just love the brand and I really want to try more things from them. But next, Let's talk about this new launch right here from Urban Decay. Now, Urban Decay has been known for their naked line. They have produced a multitude of products around uh, this umbrella of like this whole naked theme, and they have a multitude of palettes. Now, the first palette, um, it was pulled, I think, a few months back back and LS made the prediction and LS here on YouTube made the prediction that they would uh, come out with a new and revamped version and she was right. Not only is this palette in my opinion so utterly boring but it seems to be like it's like a carbon copy of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette. I'm not saying that they copied the Sultry palette in any way. Um, I think that it's very easy to have coincidences whenever you have like neutral browns because like there are only so many ways people tend to go for when it comes to spicing up a neutral brown palette, you know? So I don't think that this was intentional, but um, I don't think that this is an interesting launch. I mean, it's just, it's interesting to me like how much hype uh, certain brands get, like certain larger brands get when it comes to makeup launches. Urban Decay is one of them. Um, I actually made a video, I think it was last week, where I talked about three brands that I'm avoiding in uh, the new year because there are so many brands that uh, get a lot of airtime, they get a lot of hype, and yet we have like a lot of up and coming brands that are following the trends a little bit more because like, they're smaller and they're providing like more innovative and more interesting, in my opinion, products. And that's kind of what I'm focusing on. And I feel like Urban Decay would have been a brand that fit into that video that I produced. But um, of course, like I don't really buy a lot from Urban Decay, which is why I didn't really put it in that video. But that video is a good one to watch if you want to see some brands that I personally am going to be stepping away from a, a little bit in the new year. But I really do feel like that Urban Decay is one of those cult favorite makeup brands that just keeps getting um, so much hype no matter what they do. And it's great for them, of course, but like, I just think at this point I'm a little bit like, I'm a little bit deadened whenever I look at Urban Decay because they haven't come out with something in a very long time that seems to really inspire me personally. And I'm not saying that they're required, that it is their divine mission to um, intrigue me or inspire me. It is not. But like, that's just like my view as a consumer who happens to really like color. I just think that Urban Decay is kind of lackluster for me. So there's that. Now, Milani is coming out with several new products and like uh, the Tarte release last week, I'm not really going to go into this too much because I can't say that any of this interests me. They have a variety of face products and illuminators and they have like, some liquid illuminators, which I might actually try out at some point. We'll see. And then they have some lip glosses, again, might be interesting, but something that I really want to talk about is that they're launching new concealers, which are going to be like an extension of their, um, 
little conceal and perfect uh, foundation right here. You guys know that I love this foundation. I'm actually wearing it today. And I do think that like I will be interested in trying those concealers out because I kind of feel like I want to get a little bit uh, back into concealers in 2019 because I have been wearing... Um, a foundation a lot less and I feel like concealers uh, finding a really good concealer and using it might be like a better option for me because I personally have not been using a foundation that much um, all over my face and I've just like been avoiding that of course today I did wear foundation but on the whole I just don't wear foundation that much anymore so I definitely think that these concealers might be something I'd be interested in trying particularly because I love this formula so very much then I also want to talk about another launch from Blush Tribe. I know I'm a little bit all over the place in this video, but they're coming out with liquid lipsticks. Now, it looks like these are going to be like metallic finishes. Amy hasn't said anything about um, whether or not these are metallics so far, uh, but you guys know that if these are metallics, I'm just probably going to stay away from them. I personally feel like I'm re-falling in love with metallics again because I did publish a video. I know that I'm sort of like referencing videos right and left here but if I want to really cement a point I like to reference a relevant video but I made a video I think I published it on Christmas Day on the 25th um, in which I did like this very beautiful in my opinion of course glossy lid and I just uh, mixed in some colors to create like this really vibrant gold uh, metallic lip and that was not like a traditional a uh, metallic lip product that was me mixing things to create a metallic lip a metallic looking lip But that was not drying and that didn't really like make my lips look like a tired raisin And I love that kind of look I love how I was able to create a little bit of a concoction if you will that really just uh, Moisturized my lips, but still had this like really vibrant metallic look so I kind of like I like those kinds of metallics at this point so I'm kind of like warming up to the idea of using a metallic in that way at this point, but like metallic liquid lipsticks I'm not really into. I don't know, based on the swatches, like some of the colors look metallic, some of the colors do not. Maybe it's because like they're not dried down fully, but like I kind of really like that uh, second color from the bottom. Like that color looks really pretty. It looks very nude. I really like a nude. I know it's a little bit basic for me, but I can't really help it. So Black Room Cosmetics are extending their Cosmic Eye Dust uh, line, and they're basically adding these shades to it. And oh my gosh, I love 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 these swatches. I've looked into this a little bit and it seems that uh, these eye dusts are like liquidy kind of eyeshadows. I might try these out because like these colors are so pretty. Uh, that lime green, that, that really shimmery high shine lime green looks so so gorgeous and of course that gold, I know I can't I can't resist a gold. Like, I just have liked gold for a very long time, and I know it's a very basic uh, thing to like, but I just, I like this gold color. It's like, it looks like molten gold. Like, all these colors look like molten, just... Mm, it looks so pretty. I love it. And then another sneak peek from Blush Tribe. They're launching a, another collaboration. This time it's with Sonia Zayn, makeup artist. So it looks like Blush Tribe is collaborating with a variety of influencers. They collaborated with Paulina Beauty and now they're collaborating with this influencer and they're coming out with this palette right here. I can't say that I'm in any way like drawn to this palette personally. I just think it's because like um, this palette looks Looks like a little bit dialed down for me. I would have liked maybe a smaller, more concentrated palette with like a lot of colors in it because even though there are a lot of colors in this palette and it looks really pretty, it just looks like there is a lot of like neutral colors in here that I just simply would not be able to use because I just don't go for those shades. So this is not a color, like this is not a palette that I am in any way like uh, drawn to. So this will be a pass for me. Then I also want to talk about this new uh, launch from Viseart and they're going to be coming out with this uh, Play It Koi palette which is limited edition and it's a collection of metallic um, eyeshadow shades. And I have to say that this is, in my opinion, one of the more interesting color stories that uh, Viseart has launched, in my opinion. Viseart um, is a brand that I have not tried, and I don't really envision myself trying this brand because they really price their products up quite highly, and I'm just like not in that uh, customer base personally at this point. Um, but I do like uh, these metallics, and I kind of like, I like a lot of these colors. 
I do think that this is a color palette that you definitely have to use in conjunction with other palettes if you want to go for the matte shades. And I think that even though sometimes all shimmer palettes can be a little bit and I think that sometimes even though like all shimmer slash metallic palettes can be a little bit irritating for me personally, you do get like um, certain palettes with intriguing color stories like this that I think that I don't mind being all metallic because these are all colors. Well, I'll say 90, well, maybe 80% colors that are a little bit more unusual that you don't see every day, okay, as opposed to like a very all shimmer uh, neutral brown palette that you probably already own several duplicates of. You know what I mean? I think that this is a little bit of an interesting launch. I personally will not be going for this myself because um, this is a limited edition item, so I tend to stay away from those items. But this is a really nice color story, and I actually do like it. And then, of course, I want to talk about this brand right here called Fugly Beauty. They're coming out with a new blend Bible palette. Blend Bible. It's called Volume 1. And they're coming out with this all matte looking palette. And I personally can definitely say that I'm not altogether interested in it myself but I do think that if you are a neutral lover and you're looking for something to add to your collection but you don't really want something that is uh, very cookie cutter if you want some shades that are a little bit different if you want to try for example the mustard trend if you want to go for like that coral and uh, you want colors that are wearable but still a little bit different colors that you might not already own this might be a good option for you the fact that it is a volume one of course uh, makes me believe that they're gonna launch with like more palettes and if they launch with like a more colorful palette I probably will uh, be tempted by that one but this personally this is not necessarily something that is right for me but of course it is something that you guys might be interested in of course if you like neutrals it's gonna retail for $22.99 a pretty fair price in my opinion I haven't heard much from this brand myself but this is the palette right here and then Makeup Maniac Cosmetics is coming out with this palette right here and it's going to retail for $17. It has already come out actually. It has already come out. It's called the New Ice Princess Palette. And I do admit the reason why I was like so like oh gosh I want this palette was because of like those two teal shades and that really like interesting uh, metallic color in the center. And the other colors, not too interested in those. Um, but this is available for $17. If you guys think that you'll be using uh, most, if not all of these shades, I feel like it's a perfect match for some of you. But I personally only like two, well, no, three shades out of a nine shade palette. So, of course, that's not worth it for me. But those three shades, oh my gosh, I especially love like that very sparkly um, silver color in the center. It looks so pretty. I don't know. I'm so tempted. But like... I'm tempted by that one shade, but like all the rest, not so much. So those are all the products I wanted to talk about for today's video. That's the last uh, Will I Buy It for 2018. I know I keep saying that and I know it's annoying, but like, oh my gosh, the, la the next time I'll be seeing you guys with this series will be in 2019. How weird is that? I will say, um, I probably should have mentioned this like a great deal earlier, but I do uh, basically credit and mention every single um, source that I get uh, these images from. Like these images and these launches, I do not source these myself. I actually go to uh, some amazing makeup accounts and amazing like makeup uh, launch accounts on Instagram to get these images and to get these launches and to get like all the information. So I always mention them down below in the description box. So you guys, if you want to see these launches for yourselves as they come out and as the new information comes out on everything, please check some of these accounts down below. My favorite personally is um, Indie Makeup Spotlight created by Amy and she is one of the people that I absolutely love to watch and she recently passed 10,000 followers on Instagram with uh, this account and she really works hard to um, really spotlight indie brands and I love that because it is so difficult uh, to find indie brands sometimes. It is really difficult. You really have to know where to look. And of course that account, Indie Makeup Spotlight, is a great resource because Amy has like literally compiled so many indie brands and she really is on top of things in my opinion at least when it comes to new launches and I have really discovered so many amazing looking brands on her account. So of course check all these 
these accounts down below. They're all pretty great, uh, but I do want to, of course, spotlight them for you because like these people work so hard to provide these launches, and of course, I want to give them credit. So I also want to mention that tomorrow I'll be doing my 2018 makeup favorites. I'm going to be filming it right after I film this video, and I have so many products I want to share with you, so come back tomorrow for that video. And then after that, I will have my January wish list, which will be the first video of 2019, which will be very exciting. So check back tomorrow and the day after that for those videos. I post every single day, and I love doing it for you guys, of course. But uh, that is pretty much all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching until the end, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.